straight ahead of me in the bighorn sheep. Blocked by bighorns. So we can't get to the mine because of all the sheep up there. There are 21 bighorn sheep in front of us that we've counted so far. Some to the left there. There's some on top of the waste pile there. And there's a bunch right here. One big full curl one right over here. I hope you can see it in the video. And then, and then these are right on top of the waste pile and there were some on the right side of the waste pile too so we're blocked by bighorns yeah. good morning youtubers good morning Tom and Julie here I think Julie has a portal right in front of her there, and that's where we're going to go in. So let's go see what's in there. How's it look? Fine. No monsters coming out at you. Once again, we have hand hewn timbers in here, don't we? Yeah. And the lagging and the gobbing on each side. Got a little buckle timber right there. Boy, look at the size of the rocks on the sides here. Wow. That's pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to hang around under this broken one very long. All gobbing mixed in with the timbering, the timber sets. Some huge rocks in here. Like yeah, this. Look at the size of some of these. I know, it's crazy. They really went through a fractured area here, didn't they? Mm -hmm. With this. Drift. That's crazy. It is kind of crazy. Look at this. Ooh. Looks like it goes dead straight. These are some skinny little timbers, aren't they? I don't see much of a vein of anything. It's so fractured, how could it have been? You know, it's not like a standard fault line and contact zone. Maybe they're going back to intersect one. I can see a heady, it goes pretty far, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like all volcanically placed rocks. No animal sign yet, except for rats, of course. That's looking down the down the drift. As far as I can see, still the same thing, straight as an arrow. Okay, here we are at 300 foot mark. Just looking back at the portal. This area was traditionally mined for silver since the 1860s. 
I just talked to one of the guys that's with the mining company that is currently holding the claim here, a Canadian company, which most of these areas are owned by Canadian mine companies. There's Miss Dorothy. Anyway, uh, he said they're still sampling for silver. 100 and what? 160 years later. Let's we'll see they first started mining silver in this area. It changed too. Yeah, now it kind of changes from this fractured stuff. Oh, listen. Oh. You can hear the, the echo now, it's solid. Here comes some miners graffiti. So now they must have intersected some of the stuff that they're interested in. What does that say? Stanford? Oh, the Stanford Geological Survey. August of 48. And there's some other stuff I can't read. We've seen the Stanford survey in some other places. They really shouldn't be painting them up, but whatever they did. <coughs> so here's the left. Uh, we might as well continue straight for now. Goes back a long ways yet. Uh, I don't really see a vein here either, but I'm sure we will. The whole first 300 feet was just to get back here to intersect some of this other stuff. It smells a little sulfury. We're 500 feet in, there was a mark on the wall. There was track in here at one time for the ore cars. Here's another intersection, looks like. Is it cross cut both ways? No, just, just that way. And some backfill and gobbing here. And then that hits the face, doesn't it? Let's be sure. Yeah, this hits the face right over here. Yep. Okay, back to the main line. Oh, here's the head frame. You know what that means. There's the sign of the old uh, hoist. There's a ladder. So we're here at this vertical shaft. It's got an interesting uh, set of bearing or bushing that would have held the shaft here. Uh, they're metal. It almost feels like lead. Anyway, maybe it's a babbit. So here's the ladder. There is a ladder here. Um, it doesn't look like it's terribly deep. I'm guessing 60-ish or so. And it looks like there's possibly a working level down there. So let's explore more of the mine and maybe we'll come back and go down the ladder. Okay, there's the shaft. Let's go continue down the main line. Finish this one. What'd you see? It's cross cut. Yeah, cross cut. Probably 40 feet to the face. 
Well, what did they see there that they were falling? Oh, this thing right here. Yeah. This is that weird white stuff. Oh, yeah. Looks like the strap from strap rail. Probably an inch and a half by a three sixteenths flat bar. What's all that? Looks like that mica. Stuff, yeah, yeah isn't it does, it? yeah. Careful these are coming straight at you. Yeah, I've been stabbed by a track before like that. Not looking at it, and all of a sudden there's one that's peeled up like that. What do you see ahead of you there, still? This keeps going. Okay. Here's a little different colored stuff, and, and you see here the echoes is low, so this is a softer area. <clears throat> here the 2x4s are still here for the rail. Really from the lid to a pot. Some dynamite paper, it looks like. There's some more mineral mineralization. Looks like somebody picked at that. Yeah, predominantly silver mines in this area. And a little bit of gold here and there, according to the guy from the mining company who is still assaying different areas. They dig different pits and they do different drillings. Boy, here's a lot of strap. Here's the first curve in this thing. We should be able to still see the portal back there, yep. This is the first slight curve, and we're at 1,000 feet, I think. Station 10 plus, a hum 10 plus 0, that, if you were a surveyor, you know that's 1,000 feet. 10 100-foot stations. Cross-cut to the left at an angle, 50 feet or so long. We can go down there in a second. I think we're nearing the, the face of this main drift. Looks like a slight amount of backfill near the face. Unless it turns. Does it turn? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so this is just a corner. Looks like the face over there. Can you see it? Too? Couldn't see. What's that? Mm -hmm. Is that paint? Mm -hmm. Weird yellow circle there. Can you just go a little bit first? Sure. It hurts my back to scrunch like that. How's it look? It just ends up here a little bit. Okay. Boy, it's getting hot back here. Oh, now it got cool again. I wonder if there's air moving through here. Yeah. <clears throat> it ends just a little ways there. Yeah, it got hot and then it got cold. Not cold, but cool. Not, not as hot. 
All right, there's the face. Narrows down. Um, I'm gonna see if this fluoresces. This is under a UV light. I don't know if you can see any of that. A few different you know, colored things. Gotta watch it, that stuff's bad for your eyes. There's a bat. We won't disturb him, he's sleeping. I can see him breathing though. You notice him breathing? Yeah, yeah his little body was pulsing. Look at all this trap. Alright, I'm gonna check back when we get back to the shaft. Or a cross cut, whatever we do. Did we miss a cross cut? Here's some advice about mining. Mining is good if you got the money, sucker. Looks like it's from May either May 20th of 25 is that how you read it? Mm -hmm. somewhere 25, 29 so if you got the money mining's a good gig I guess that means they don't make a lot of, or it takes a lot to make some is this the right that we skipped? All right, let's go down here. Looks like there was tracks, so it probably goes a little ways at least. A lot of those short drifts, they don't bother putting track in those short cross cuts. It's funny, they took the ties out of the other main haulage, and here they took the strap and the two by fours. Here's some timbering. Some natural lagging on the left here, well, I guess, and on the right. Uh, milled timbers, but natural lagging. There's tree, tree parts. Kind of neat. And that lumber smells good. Didn't it? Yeah. Had a nice tree smell. What's that say? It looks like July 29. No, I can't read underneath it. Tom. Oh, look at you. July. 29. July 1st, wasn't me. I wasn't around until 56. This is following something because it's drifting around. These little mines can surprise you how big they are because there's not much of a waste pile outside this thing. And it's got to be, I think it was about a thousand feet plus whatever we got here. Here's 200 on this drift. Looks like the rail is still intact up here. And we have an intersection. Just a short cross cut. One big timber right here in the middle. Neat little mine. Oh, here's some real, real uh, track. Kind of narrow. There's 
just in rock fall. This is real soft material, this light stuff, whatever it is. One of you geology guys will know. There's kind of a seam there. Every time you come to one of those places, you get a lot of it on the ground. I see something back here. Is that a barrel? That's a cardboard oh, cardboard box. Oh yeah, there's a, there's another glove there. Three yeah, there's a pair. Actually, a pair. Set those up on the rock, maybe. Just keep them a little drier. Cooled off again a little bit. Maybe there's an airflow here. Something's going on. Oh, rabbit! <laughs> there's a rabbit in here. A live one? Yeah, a big one. Poor guy. He's right here. If you go right on the corner there. This must be the end because there's the end right there. Oh yeah, he's lost Let's in here. Chase him out. Yeah, we can get him out. Come on, buddy. They're all blocked this way. Oh, he went. Yeah, he's probably lost in here. Yeah. Come on. Good guy too. I I just saw the tail end of him. Come on. We'll get back a little bit. Here's a oh that's a nice pearl. And then the muck sheet. And then the face. So let's see if we can get this rabbit to go by us here. Get him in this barrel and haul him on. Mm, I think he'd jump out there. Well, you'd have to cover him or something. There's plenty of wood here. Could grab him by the back legs if you could catch him. He's pretty quick. Yeah, I know. He he's hasn't been in here long. He looks pretty healthy. Come on. You okay, big guy? Come on. Oh, he tried to crawl in a hole. Come on out of there. Come on. Come on, you go by me. Come on. Come on, you don't want to go in there. Come on. <laughs> go the other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Go right. Come on. Might still be able to see him here. He ran right into my leg. <laughs> he might have been a little blinded by the light. You should see the forward light. Yeah, if he, if he went down this far. Poor thing was scared up in the hollow. Man, how long was this? Not there. Yeah, he must have gotten turned around. He wouldn't be way back in there. Well, at least he's not in the crosscut anymore. Maybe we'll see him out here. There's no light. I 
Don't see him down that way. Thank you to stop here. Well, well, some kind of excitement, I guess. I don't know where exactly where he went. At least he's not stuck back in the back of that crosscut. Okay, Tom is going down. An old set of ladders. Old, old set of ladders. Roped in, so. Theoretically, we're roped in. Theoretically, he's roped in. <laughs> And there is a large bat down there. Somewhere. Well, he looked big, but maybe he wasn't. Yeah, maybe he's not. See you down there. Watch out, Bat. Rope look alright? Yeah. You sure? Well. So here's the bottom of the ladder. It's got a little funky spot there and a little switch over there. It's probably usable though, but you don't know. So once you get down here, there's one drift going to the left here. And there's another one going behind me. There's a little teeny hole, a purple one, real small one, looks like a child's toy, probably good for getting in small crevices. This area of the mine doesn't get much visitor, many visitors I don't think. Since you gotta climb those sketchy ladders. So this coming dead's end dead ends at a a shoot. Let's see where this goes. material is up in here. Oh, 
excuse me it looks like it's gonna run out here yeah I can see the end of it up ahead here let me make sure yeah that's the end of it apparently they like the other way better they weren't finding what they wanted. This was about 50 paces. All right, so Tom's making his way back up the ladder. You get in there. You said your bat took off? Yeah. You went out the mine. Or in that direction anyway. Just hang uh, are you just hanging out? Yeah, I'm resting. Okay. There he is. Wow. <clears throat> what a trip. <laughs> Mr. Bat didn't get me. No, he just about got me. <laughs> okay. All right. Good job. Thank you. Here's one last look at these beautiful hand hewn timbers. You can still see the axe marks in there. So that's going to conclude our exploration for today's video. It was a fun little mine. We hopefully got the rabbit going the right direction. We never saw him go out, but. Anyway, we appreciate you guys watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.